Hi and welcome to PrestaShopTraining.com. In this video we're going to learn how to create a favorites icon which is this little guy right here. Now when PrestaShop is downloaded and set up initially it comes with the default logo and it comes with the default favorites icon. In a previous video we changed out the default logo for this new PrestaTraining.com logo and now we're going to change out the default favorites icon to a favorites icon that we're actually going to create using a graphics manipulation program called GIMP. And we'll head off to the back office here and I'll show you the area that you need to look for your favorites icon first and then we'll actually go and create a favorites icon using GIMP. Now there's many ways that you can create favorites icons. This is just going to be one of several ways that I'm going to show you. Uh, you can create a favorite icon from scratch just actually using a special program and creating it pixel by pixel. Or you can do what I'm going to show you in this training video, which is uh, take an existing image, whether it's a picture or a graphic that was created for you by a professional, and actually create the 16 by 16 pixel favorites icon that you need in order to upload. So you can change out this guy right here. Okay, let's go to the back office administration panel. In the back office, you're going to find your favorites icon area by going to Preferences and then Appearance. It's in the same location as the header logo was, and we've already uploaded our header logo. So what I'm going to do for my favorites icon, I've got this little graphic symbol right here. I think I'm going to use that uh, just because that will be a nice branding picture for my website. This wording here is not going to work in a 16 by 16 pixel space. You basically need something that's like a picture or something that's going to signify your your site in a very small area. So this is where we'll wind up loading up our favorites icon. But first, before we do that, we need to actually create the favorites icon. So I'm going to open up my graphics program, which is GIMP. And if you don't know what GIMP is, uh, just search Google and search for GNU image manipulation program or you can also search for download GIMP and that should bring up the results you need in order to download the most recent version of GIMP and it's a free open source program similar to uh, Photoshop probably not quite as full featured as Photoshop but it's free versus uh, a very you know Photoshop's very expensive so and GIMP will do everything that you need to do in order to create this favorites icon that we're discussing so I'm going to open up GIMP and then I'll show you how to make your first icon. With GIMP open, I'm going to open my file folder and bring up my image. I recently received a professionally created logo. Actually, I got two of them. One is with the white background and one is with the blue background. But I'm going to use the one with the white background so you can see uh, how I'm going to create my little favorites icon a little easier. So I'll open this up, and it's just a JPEG image. Now, don't be intimidated, because even if you don't know anything about GIMP, you, you don't need to. All you have to do is follow my instructions, and you should be able to create a fi favorites icon very easily. So once you have GIMP open, and you have any picture or any image imported or opened up here, then the next thing you want to do, like in my case, I'll show you how I'm going to take this little piece right here, and make it into a square block and that's the one thing that's really critical about creating a favorites icon you need a square image it doesn't matter what size for right now we'll eventually get it to the size it needs to be but just know that you need to make this image square so I'm gonna get this little shopping cart symbol by going up here to this exacto knife looking object and if you hold your mouse over it says the crop tool so I'm gonna be sure that that's selected and I'm just going to randomly pull out a cropping uh, window here, and I'm going to let go of the, the mouse. Don't worry about the size by pulling it out, because what we're going to go over here and do is be really specific on the actual size. Now you can see it's a size in pixels, 306 by 336. The easiest thing to make it square is just take the largest dimension and make them both equal and it does not matter what the size is. It absolutely makes no difference whatsoever. So we'll do a 336 by a 336. And if you think you want to make that a little smaller, uh, you know, tighten it up, up on the sides or whatever, you can certainly do that. 
you could make it 300 by 300 just play around a little bit see what fits for you and then I can move this you can see I've got the directional arrow I'll just move it to what works the best and that looks pretty good I think I might make it a little smaller though just so I, I can narrow it up a bit I'm gonna make it 280 by 280 and see if that works see if I can still fit that in there that's a little tight I guess 290 by 290 but I'm just kinda of showing you this so you can understand that this is how you uh, can play around with it get your different sizes okay I think that'll work so I'm just gonna center it a little bit more and I'll call that good so now that I've you can still see I've kinda of got this press the training in the background over here in order to make this an image I just need to click on it so there I clicked on it it accepted the cropped image and now I have um, an image that's 290 by 290 pixels and I'm going to change that to 100 percent just so I can look at it easier okay now the next thing we want to do is scale it down well actually we don't even need to do that because the favorites icon generator program will do that for us so let's just save this as a 290 by 290 file the important thing is is that it's square so go to file save as now I'm at the location that I want to save my favicon I'm just gonna save it I'm gonna title it as favicon.jpg and I'm gonna click save and you'll see this uh, dialog box come up that's going to ask you what kind of quality do you want to save your icon as favicon as I mean and um, right now the file size is 39.2 that's fine if you move this up or down it will actually change the the compression or the quality of your image but that's fine for now because it's going to get reduced significantly to into a 16 by 16 pixel image so this is not uh, anything to worry about at all so we'll go ahead and save that and now you can see it's been saved as a favicon.jpg as a 290 by 290 now we're going to uh, open up a favicon generator program that I found on Google and if you want to use this one it's just www.favicongenerator.com I found this by searching Google and there's a very very long list of favicon generator programs that came up this one was uh, one of the first ones it was nice and simple to use I'm not using this for any other reason uh, other than the fact that I found it a little easier than a couple of the others that I looked at to use. So go ahead and get here and uh, it says first step one locate the image that you'd like to use and we've already created that so we know where it's at. It just says uh, make sure that the dimensions are perfectly square 100 by 100 well in our case 290 by 290 so it doesn't matter it's just square. Now we're going to browse for the location okay there's our favicon.jpg gonna open it and step three is press the gener generate favicon button below scroll down a little bit and it says complete click here to download your favicon I'll click there and you'll see it's created a favicon.ico just gonna hit save and there we go okay now that we've got our favicon downloaded I'm just gonna go ahead and double click on it or I could click right click and open and it's gonna bring it up in your graphics program since GIMP is my graphics program it just brought it up if you use Photoshop or uh, paint or whatever it'll bring it up in that program you might have to do an open as but uh, this is my 16 by 16 icon image now we just need to save this so we'll click save and um, just to show you that you don't need to really know anything about GIMP here's a dialog box that says save as Windows icon uh, it's talking about a something that I don't know what it is so I'm not gonna worry about it but I'm gonna click save and I've been through this process before so I know this will work so if you see something like this and don't know what to do about it just click save uh, this is not a not a huge image so it's not something we really need to worry about as far as is it going to be too big or the right type it will work so just don't worry about that 
Okay, now we have this saved in the right location. Let's go ahead and go back to the back office and I'll show you how to upload it. So we're in the back office where, we, where I showed you before. We're in Preferences, Appearances, Preferences, Appearances. And you can either upload the icon by clicking on the Browse button or you can just click in this area. And you'll see it comes up in our sa uh, Sample Favicons folder. Here is the Favicon. And I'm just going to double click on that. And there's the path. So now we have to click Save. OK, so you can see that our favicon is showing up right here. So now let's go back to the store. Now this may not um, change right away because we might have to do something in order to clear our cache. But let's just double check here. Let's hit Reload. And you can see that it still has not changed. Now even if I hit Reload again, uh, it might not change. This is very common, and what you most of the time have to do is clear your cache or your cookies in your browser. Sometimes by closing your browser and restarting it, that might be enough. Let's go ahead and try that. Okay, we'll close Firefox, and then we'll reopen Firefox. Okay, that still did not change it, so I'm going to show you uh, how to change or I'm sorry, I'm going to show you how to clear your, your cache and your cookies. In Mozilla Firefox, you go to Tools, and then Clear Recent History, and it'll bring up this dialog box where you can choose the things that you'd like to clear. And you'll notice that cookies and cache are selected, so let's just go ahead and clear now. Okay, so the dialog box went away, everything should be cleared. I'm going to click Reload. Well, that didn't work, so let's go ahead and close the browser and reopen it. And there it did reload this time. So the reason I'm not going to delete this from the actual presentation of the video is because I want you to see sometimes what might happen to you. And I could have just edited this all out so you saw a direct path on just clearing your cookies in your cache and then closing your browser but I think it's kind of important that you see the things that can go wrong so it's easier for you to learn how to avoid them so the simple way of doing it after you upload your icon is simply go to tools and then clear recent history and then clear everything by clicking the clear now button at least in Mozilla Firefox Internet Explorer I'm sure has a similar operation and then just go ahead and close you might as well just close your browser right away and then reopen your browser. So that's the fastest, easiest way to do it. But if you run into some of those other problems, this will help you understand what's going on. Okay, that is the first method of creating a favicon. And in other videos, we're going to actually look at how to uh, create a text based favicon by using GIMP. And then we'll also use another uh, program called. ICOFX. It's I-C-O-F-X. And uh, it's, a, it's a specialized free favicon generating program that's pretty slick that some people like to use. So you'll have three options to create a favicon and hopefully one of them will work for you. Alright, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.